As the Orioles head towards the second half of the season, obviously, Zach Britton is going to play a major part in it in a rotation that's had to go back and forth. The Orioles hope that he's going to have a very solid second half. He's excited about pitching here. There you see the numbers that he has put up so far. He has been good. Now it's about how many innings and how many games can they get out of him and still stay within the number they want to be in. And how does he feel about pitching at Fenway? Is he excited? Here's what he said. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought I was going to get it that one time, but we got rained out. So it, it's good to be back here. The weather's a lot better. So uh, at least I didn't throw in that cold weather, and now we get some warm weather up here, which will be nice. Take us back to your tour here when you when you first came to Fenway. Uh, Where did you go? Well, uh, I took it up to the Monster up here. Uh, I wanted to just kind of see that view and take a look at those seats. And then it started raining, so my tour got cut short. But uh, I just kind of walked around the field. Um, it's weird dimensions here. I just want to get kind of get a feel for it all. Uh, I still haven't stopped inside the Monster. That's my, my next go around. Why is it so important to you to do this? Um, you know, I feel like every new stadium that we go to, it's nice, especially being a rookie, uh, experiencing the stadium. And I feel like when you walk around the stadium, you kind of appreciate where you're at. Um, you know, you're not just in the clubhouse and the dugout. You kind of walk around where the fans sit and stuff like that, and taking a different angle and kind of soak it all in. Have you been when you get on the mound? Can you put all that behind you and just focus on the game the first time in these ballparks? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I was telling Brittany the other day, uh, I'd I could throw in a parking lot and it wouldn't bother me. I, I just like getting on the mound facing hitters, uh, and when I do that, I kind of tune out the stadium. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I just focus on you know Matt or Craig and uh, you know whoever the hitter is and just making good pitches. Does the sound actually go away? I mean, do you not hear the sound? No, it's not like what movie was that where the, the sound goes away? You can mute the yeah. the crowd. No, it, it doesn't go away. It's uh, there's always like two fans that you can hear, and for for some reason, it's always those two fans that are kind of giving you a hard time. Uh, but for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty easy to kind of tune it out and to focus on pitching. So this has been a very rough road trip. We were just talking. It looked bad on paper when it first came out. Uh, it hasn't been very good. How t how tough is this for the players? I think it's really tough, especially. Um, since we see we see us falling in the standings as well and how many games were below 500 and the goal for us was never to be 500 it's to be better than that and uh, obviously we're not playing well enough to do that and it's frustrating you can see it in the clubhouse guys are really starting to press guys are you know really getting frustrated uh, if they you know have a bad game or a bad outing so it, it's it's tough to go in there and really stay upbeat and uh, you know that's kind of what we got to do we got to forget about what happened in Texas come here and try to take two or three of these from Boston, who's playing really well. Um, but I think it's getting frustrating for everybody. And, uh, you know, we're tired of losing. And, and Buck's preaching that. He's, you know, this is not going to be a mediocre team. He's not going to have it. And so it's, it's about us stepping up and, and finally uh, playing like a winning ball club. Do you think the word's getting through? I mean, it's clear his frustration has gotten to the point where he had the outing with you. I don't just you, but with a team yeah. in Texas. Yeah, you can, you know, he's frustrated. And, uh, to, you know, it's deserved. We haven't been playing well, and uh, he's not going to stand for losing. And I think that's why they brought him in here. Uh, you knew that he was going to settle for anything than the best, and that's what he's trying to get through to us. And I think it is coming through. Guys understand that, you know, just because uh, they may have done something well in the past doesn't mean that if they continue to play uh, poorly that they're going to be here. He's not scared to call you into his office and let you, you know, and send you down or, you know, who knows. But he said he's not scared to. Uh, to, to meet you in the office if you're not playing well. And we, we know that, we, uh, especially with that talk he had in Texas, we know that he's going to stick to his word, so we need to step our game up. We wish you well here at Fenway Park for the rest of the year. All right, thanks, Gary.